He's Minnesota's own, a rising boxing star, and the fight of his life is later this month. My run is now legendary. Terry Hitchcock isn't finished, though. His amazing story is just ahead. They are definitely conference champions who want state hardware. You're going to meet Shakopee's softball team. And in the Mayak, softball is also center stage at Bethel. All ahead, it's game on. And a very good morning to you. Hope you're having a great weekend. This is Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. I'm Rod Simons. We have a very, very interesting show for you today. We're talking boxing for one of the first times. One of the rising stars. This kid should be a professor at the University of Minnesota. You're going to meet golden Caleb Truax in just a couple of seconds. And you're going to hear about one of the greatest stories Minnesota can offer. Very inspirational and one I guarantee you won't forget. You're also going to meet one dynamic softball team. But first, let's get to game on by the numbers on this Sunday. And that labor situation that continues to evolve, players tell me it's practice time. Owners say not so fast. The National Hockey League draft is moving on to St. Paul later in June, something we're gonna watch. The Saints are back this month. The Twins are hitting the road and the Lynx will open camp very, very soon. Big championship season, they hope, is just ahead. And couldn't be more excited to start the show with the man who makes it happen. His nickname is Golden. This is Caleb Truex. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Glad to be here. Nice to have you with us. Now, before we talk about your big fight that's coming up on May 27th. Yep. Friday, May 27th. Fr Friday, May 27th at the St. Paul Armory. Let's talk about your nickname, Golden Caleb. Golden Caleb Truex. Yeah, I got it uh, just because uh, I went to the U of M, graduated from the U of M, and uh, I wanted to try to capitalize on uh, the love for the U of M uh, from Minnesota. So. Now, he just doesn't carry around a big stick with these fists. He, he also had a great education at the University of Minnesota, majored in sociology, minored in African-American studies and poli-sci. You carried a major league workload. Yeah, it was, uh, it was tough. I was there for three and a half years. Uh, I transferred there after my first year, so uh, it's a great school. I love it. Now, I would have thought with that background you would have become a teacher. <laughs> or a professor. Maybe uh, maybe uh, after my boxing career. Yeah. But, so what, uh, about, what lured you into boxing? Because you've been boxing a long time. Uh, actually, uh, as far as boxing goes, I haven't been boxing okay. a long time. I, I started late. I didn't start till I was um, 19 or 20. And uh, I just uh, I used to be a football player and baseball player. And I kind of uh, hurt my knee and I was done with football and uh, just kind of fell into boxing. And here I am. 06, you were the state junior champ? Uh, USA State USA. Boxing Stamp, amateur, amateur boxing. And as you've been a professional, you're undefeated. Yep. You're on, I met you at an MMA event, and one of the things that I, I find fascinating is you study everybody, whether they're a boxer or they're in the cage. Yep. Is that part of your, um, part of your background? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just the nature of a fighter, I think. I'm pointing things out that he's doing right and pointing things out that he's doing wrong. And even though I don't really know what they're doing in MMA, I think I try to try to uh, think that I do so. <laughs> Is boxing on its way back? Because it, it seems, and correct me if I'm wrong, but over the years it seems that MMA has taken some of that audience with its rise in popularity. Do you think that's accurate? And have um, you are you regaining some footing? Uh, I don't think it's entirely accurate. I think uh, boxing, it's the, the, the mainstream ver, uh, view of boxing is uh, it's, it's down from what it used to be in its heyday, but at the same time, you have to realize that boxing is a worldwide thing. It's not, uh, it's not just the United States, it's Mexico, it's, it's uh, Europe, it's uh, every, Australia, everywhere. And, and MMA is kind of like a, a USA type thing, and it's kind of spreading globally now, but uh, boxing, everybody, the whole world boxes. so. It's, uh, it might not get as much uh, recognition on Spike TV and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but uh, it's, uh, it's definitely not going anywhere. So He is the pride of Osseo. Delighted to have golden Caleb Truax in the house. We'll talk more about his fight. Big fight on May 27th coming up in just a minute. Don't forget, you can get all the latest information and all the blogs at GameOnTVMN.com. Great website. Brandon on baseball, the boss on MMA. Extensive reach with the Vikings with Shocker's Locker, especially with the draft just behind us. We'll be talking more about that as the season progresses. I'll also link you to our partners, purplepride.org and more. Check us out. It's gameontvmn.com. Now from Fan HQ, let's hear from the fans. The question, who's going to win the NBA championship? The Celtics all the way because they got Rajah Rondo and they wear the color green.
The sun has always powered life. And now it powers our latest innovation to heat and cool your home more efficiently. Introducing the world's only solar-powered home energy system, which saves you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. Go green with Liberty Comfort Systems and your neighbors will be green with envy. Get the latest in green technology and save some green. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Hi friends, the mission is simple at the Minnesota Real Estate Team. Help buyers and sellers reach their goals. Your needs are handled by a professional team with years of vital experience. They know the Twin Cities and they work on your timeline with no pressure. So get answers. They're your local real estate team. Here's Beasley, isolated right side. He puts it on the floor to the free throw line. Drops it for Love. Three ball on the way. Got it to go! Kevin Love with a 30-30. Wes Johnson rises up and comes down hard. Ridnour throws it up for Darko and he lifts it in. Tolliver knocks it in. More reasons to get your 2011-2012 season tickets at Timberwolves.com. The Minnesota Timberwolves. United we run. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar Girl. Great to have you with us on this Sunday. Golden, Caleb Truax, and Rod in the house. Big fight, May 27th. Andy Coley, 23-2. and two. And you're telling me during the commercial break, he is probably going to be the toughest fight you've ever had so far. Uh, I, I, I definitely think so. I'm, uh, at least I'm training that way. I, uh, I'm taking it very seriously and uh, expecting uh, 10 rounds of, uh, of, uh, of war, pretty much. I, uh, I'm ready to go, and uh, uh, I'm expecting it, fully expecting it to be my toughest fight. Golden doesn't just do a run around one of the lakes. Nah. <laughs> what is a, what is a, in a nutshell, what is your workout day like? Um, I, I usually uh, wake up uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I wake up at 4.15 and uh, do some conditioning workouts with my coach, Tom Halstead. Um, I usually run anywhere from three to six miles, uh, four to five times a week, and then I six days a week I'm at my boxing gym. So, How many hours in the gym? Uh, my boxing gym, two and a half to three. Oh my goodness. Now belts are on the line. Uh, Coley has a, a belt, he has the Minnesota belt, you have a different belt. Tell us what a win would do for you. Um, he has uh, the Minnesota State Middleweight Championship belt and uh, yeah. that's what I'll be taking from him uh, May 27th. Um, I have uh, a WBF uh, International Super Middleweight uh, belt, that's not going to be on the line. So. I'll have two belts after uh, May 27th. Yeah. Is it hard to concentrate this close to the fight? Uh, this far, it, earlier in my career, it was kind of hard to, uh, to make everything uh, right. mesh together. But, you know, I'm 18 fights into my career. I, uh, I kind of got a feel for, uh, for time management. College helped with that, too, time oh, management. Oh, I bet it did, and, yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, I don't know. I like uh, coming out and doing media, things like this, because it, all it does is just, uh, just uh, add for exposure for the fight. So. Yeah. And last question for you, longevity. Is this uh, a career that five or six years down the road you can still see yourself fighting and doing maybe even on a more international scale? Yeah, I definitely can. Um, actually, to be honest with you, I never thought I was going to be a professional fighter, even after my amateur career uh, was cut short. But uh, I, uh, I guess I'm just going to take it as long as I can. And uh, as long as I can be successful, that's a big thing to me. I don't want to be a guy that's a, a trial horse or anything like that. So just uh, as long as I can be successful and keep winning. Golden, Caleb Truax in the house. We're going to be watching for you. Thank we'll you, have sir. full updates. We'll have you back after you take care of business. Sounds good to me. Very nice. Don't forget, we got a big event coming up. It's Rod's Golf for the Gift of Adoption. We'd love to have you with us. It's Golf for the Gift, my charity golf event to raise money to help build forever families through the gift of adoption grant process. It's June 23rd at Troy Burn Golf Club. Fun, relaxing, challenging, and it's a great cause. Check us out. Golfforthegift.com, June 23rd. We'd love for you to join us. Now from Fan HQ, let's catch up. Who's going to win that NBA championship? I think the Lakers because they have Kobe Bryant, but I also could go for the Heat because I like Shaq and they have Dwayne Wade. Wendy's new 99 cent everyday value menu now has even more tasty ways to get what you want for 99 cents. The all new bacon 99er with thick applewood smoked bacon or the new crispy chicken Caesar wrap with tender all white meat chicken. 99, my 99. We got your 99. Now there's nine tasty choices for 99 cents. 
Hi friends, talking to you about River City Mortgage and it's no secret, today's home buyer needs help navigating and making sense of the right mortgage and finance decisions. Maria at River City Mortgage makes sense of it. She'll help you find the best strategies to fit your financial needs and she'll offer creative options. Maria's goal, a smooth process for you. Find her at maria at rcmortgage.com and you'll see firsthand. Walling, Berg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. This is the story of Terry Hitchcock and the two marathons that shaped his life, the one he ran and the one he lived. The five of us was a very tight family, fun, telling jokes. And I got a call one day from Sue, and she said, would I mind coming home? She said, I just came back from the doctors. The doctor said I had breast cancer. When Sue died, I said to God, you know, how come not me? but I think I had a lot to learn. I began to appreciate what single parents go through. Someone had to get out there and talk about what these kids need and what these families need. I said, I want to do a marathon a day. Now into the unknown. If you look at this guy, you do not think this is a marathon runner. Well, he's 56 years old, he's on high blood pressure medication, and I don't think he's really ever run before. What did I get myself into? Numbing cold, stifling heat, uphill, downhill, day after day. You know, his feet were just eaten up from the constant pounding he was taking. If I could just get out on the highway, somehow I could tell the story of what I knew kids were going through. Every one of us can do something, be a hero, be somebody's hero. Welcome back to Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. You just saw the trailer, that's my run. The story of Terry Hitchcock. The book is called A Father's Odyssey. Great to have Terry Hitchcock in the house. Thanks, Ryan. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Where do we start? I guess the first place is what an amazing life. You haven't stopped caring when it comes to having lost your wife and fighting the fight. Fighting the fight. No, I, I look at life as a, a kind of something that you experience every day and what can I do with it and how can I make a difference. Uh, my grandparents who raised me said that nothing in life will be impossible for me and I live that every day. I watched uh, the movie, which is not out on DVD until midsummer, you say? Midsummer. How did you get through 75 marathons in 75 days, essentially running from Minnesota to Atlanta? How physically do you look back and say, how the heck did I do that? Oh, I do. I, I look back and say, I have no idea how I did it. I wasn't really a runner. I was, you weren't a runner. I was a weekend warrior, if you will, and maybe a couple miles here, a couple miles there. But my hero was Terry Fox. And Terry Fox, with one leg, attempted to run across Canada. Right. He raised $24 million, and I thought, gee, maybe I could do something for single parents and their children. Yeah. We're talking about 35 million people. And so I came up with the idea of running someplace, and so I picked the Olympics in Atlanta. Yeah. And I thought, well, why not just add to my misery? <laughs> Let's make it at least a marathon a day. I didn't know what I was doing. No, I didn't. really didn't. And the first day, my trainer ran with me. We did 31 days, and I really thought I was going to die. I mean, I never hurt so much in all my life. And I was 57 years old. So that was the beginning. Then I slept in our trailer, and my team got me out of bed. I couldn't move. I mean, you know, now I'm going to do another one like that? But I did. I did. And... Uh, Every day I would try to find some way of making it another 27, 28 miles. And it was, it was really tough. We've linked the trailer 
to GameOnTVMN.com just in case you want to see it. You must see it. it. It's unbelievable. Do you look back now and say what I did was the right thing to do? Oh, absolutely. See, every day I would talk to single parents. I would talk to families, to kids, and they would tell me their stories about their hardship, their the happy times, and I thought, you know, I did the right thing. Yeah. Now it took quite a while to get to where we are today because when I got done my run, I thought, okay, I'm done. 2,100 miles, two broken ankles, a broken patella. I mean, that's it. No more. Yeah. Uh, but as people told me later, that was only the beginning. Yeah, we're not at, we're not at the finish line yet. More yeah. with Terry in just a minute. But right now, time for Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka. They are your personal temperature specialists. Who's hot? It's got to be the NBA playoffs. Well, the Wolves aren't in it. The postseason sweepstakes are hot. And they're keeping us watching. Ratings are up. And there's some really pretty good series and great games being played. Keep it up, NBA and the Wolves. Let's get it turned around for next season. Who's cold? It's got to still be the NFL labor situation. Yes, the Minnesota judge gives the players a ruling, but it's not solved. The labor issues are still dividing the game. And with the draft now in the books, fans are wondering when they're going to fully get their game back. That's Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems. Friend them at Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka. Time now for Fan HQ. Your big fan question is who's going to win the NBA playoffs? Celtics. Why? Uh, I think they got the chemistry. Garnett, Minnesota, it's got to go. Hi friends, when you make mortgage decisions, Caliber Funding delivers a better experience. Caliber walks you through the process step by step and trained Caliber consultants have an array of resources to help you. Ask your loan officer about Caliber's guarantee that loan documents can be delivered three days before close. Caliber Funding is a well-capitalized direct lender, MLS number 80636, and Caliber is an equal housing lender. Caliber offers a more productive experience for you. At Caliber, you'll see a lending difference. Find us at CaliberFunding.com. Working together means working efficiently. And a Lennox home comfort system may just be the perfect example. Its air conditioner works together with the furnace. And that works together with the air purifier. And that works with you by saving you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. River City Saloon is the place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside, from business people to bikers, everyone's going to have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com. And look for the awning just off Main and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. Welcome back. It's Game On Powered by the Courtside Barn Grill. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Rod with Terry Hitchcock. And not a lot of time, so let me get to some questions for you. During the run, the 75 marathons in 75 days, your best day? My best day, the one that I think of the most, I was running towards St. Louis. NBC was following me, and they were with me all day long. And so about as we got into the city, every other block, here's the tripod, the camera, and I'm running, trying to look like a runner, trying to run fairly fast. Right. And then all at once, there was no white NBC truck. There was no cameras. And now I was getting a part of the city where burned out cars, boarded up windows, looked like a bomb went off. And mothers were coming out of their houses and hugging me. Men were coming over, shaking my hand with tears in their eyes. I had at least 30 kids running with me. And so to me, it was a celebration. It was a wonderful time. So I get through this part of St. Louis. I get down to the arch, and here's the white truck. Here's the NBC player of people. And I said, you know, where were you guys back there? And this camera guy very seriously said, well, Terry, you were running in East St. Louis. Nobody goes into East St. Louis and comes out. Oh, my goodness. And I thought, wow. It, it was a celebration for me. 
when you were do, being interviewed, they asked you a very poignant question. If the president was here, what would you say and your response? Well, I looked at the camera and I said, are our children the future of this country? And somebody off camera said, well, of course. And I said, well, if our children are the future of this country, then how come we don't have a secretary of children? Think of that. Very poignant. Yeah. Tonight, very special gathering in Burnsville. We have a link at GameOnTVMN.com with all the information. And there's going to be great music, Santana-based music, too. And you talk all the time to folks. What's your message tonight? Nothing is impossible. And then I'm going to say enjoy the evening with Santana's band, his vocalist. We're going to give a lot of money to charity, to children, to Asperger's. Toto is going to be there. That's right. I mean, it's going to be a, a tremendous evening, 8 o'clock in Burnsville. Come and see it. It's just going to be a great evening for everybody. We love you. We want you back. Thank, Thank you. you for all the inspiration and all you do. Thank you. And uh, you still running? Uh, once in a while. <laughs> you deserve some time off. Terry Hitchcock in the house with us. And don't forget, you can join us for a live taping every Tuesday right here at the Courtside Bar and Grill in Anoka. Be part of our game and join us. Don't forget this coming Tuesday, we have Adam Weber, the former Gophers quarterback, looking for an NFL career, as well as Charles Aaron, the cyclist extraordinaire on the international stage. Be with us. Courtside Bar and Grill, Tuesday for Game On. Time now for our high school spotlight and delighted to have some real champions in the house. Back-to-back -back conference champions from Shakopee High School. Give yourselves a round of applause, ladies. Good to have you with us. <laughs> Coach Johnson's with us. And one of the things that we were talking about was your team is undefeated, knock on wood, as you head towards the playoffs. But you also have a, a team of gals who really get it in the classroom. 3.4 is your overall GPA. Is your overall GPA and the top 10 have a GPA of 3.8. That's awesome. It's real easy to teach everybody everything, but they pick it up the first time for most of, our, most of the part, and yeah. uh, it, it's really fun to be with them. You have back-to-back -back champions, and you're having a great run this year. What's the key to your success? You're surrounded by all of them right here. Yeah. It's a great bunch of girls to work with, and uh, the 10 seniors have been uh, playing uh, for three or four years, many of them, and then there's some, the other people, the juniors and the yeah. sophomores coming in and are helping in also. And I've read that Shakopee softball starts when they're like in sixth, seventh grade. Uh, even earlier. We have wow. 10 and under teams and 12 and under teams, so these nice. guys have been playing since they were 10 and under. Twins can use some great help, you guys, so let's yeah. keep that in mind, all right? So I would imagine at this point, with the playoffs looming three weeks or so away, your mission is state hardware or bust. Well, right now it's one game at a time. I, I like see. to borrow from the Twins Nothing idea. Nothing wrong with that. We, to go one game at a time. And they've set it as a goal for themselves this year that that's what they would like to do. We've been bumped off in the section semifinals two years in a row, and we'd like to get past that and get into the state tournament this year. Well, we couldn't be more delighted that you're here. We're pulling for you, and we're going to have an update at the end of the season when you're hoisting the trophy. I'm not jinxing anything. I'm just saying it the way it is. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you for being Thank with us. Thank you very much. Yep. Shakopee High softball. Give it up for the team. Time now for the Northern Extremes Notebook. Twins get Detroit after that long road trip when they get back home. The Stars are back home against Miami in soccer. The Vikings first game, if labor difficulties get settled, maybe against Tennessee in August. Lynx on June 5th, Machine on May 7th, and St. Paul Saints on the 12th. Don't forget the Greg Coleman Golf Event, August 22nd at Victory Lanes in Blaine. And we've been telling you about Fan HQ and your one-on-one -on -one autograph access. It's a great time. Drew Butera, number 41. Last weekend in the house, everybody had a great time. Every month, it's one of your favorites from the Twins and other sports. Keep it at FanHQStore.com for all the updates, as well as GameOnTVMN.com. Time now. Fans talking about who's going to win the NBA championship. I hear the Bulls are the team to beat this year, so I figure maybe the Bulls are the Lakers. Walling, Berg, and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, 
Call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Hi friends, talking to you about River City Mortgage and it's no secret, today's home buyer needs help navigating and making sense of the right mortgage and finance decisions. Maria at River City Mortgage makes sense of it. She'll help you find the best strategies to fit your financial needs and she'll offer creative options. Maria's goal, a smooth process for you. Find her at maria at rcmortgage.com and you'll see firsthand. It is time for the Mac Minute. Meet Rod Radcliffe. Two rods make All right. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Bethel softball. As we look at the schedule, the tournament, Mayak tournament's right around the corner, the 5th and 6th of May. You're hosting, your team's having a great season, but you want to be a big player at your ballpark. Oh, yeah, that'd be great if our team could uh, compete in the Mayak tournament. Uh, they only take four anyway in the whole conference, so it'd be really just an honor to be able to play at home, too, for our tournament. Now, Coach, you lost a lot of seniors last year. You've kind of been rebuilding, but the team is playing well. Right. We were really excited about see what our new team could do this year. Yeah. We lost nine seniors from last year, and uh, so we're really pleasantly surprised with how they're coming around this year. 19 wins in a season so far is impressive. Yeah, yeah that's been great. Uh, you know, the last three years now we've really been on a roll, and that's been really fun to see how our girls year in, year out are competing and uh, just having a good time while we're playing the game. Now, my, my friends at Bethel tell me that you, you like to have fun on the field, but you are a stickler for defense. You hate mistakes. <laughs> yeah, we like the fundamentals. I uh, definitely like to uh, definitely have the fundamentals of defense. We yeah. like to be solid, but also in the main theme of the whole thing and we want to have a good time and have fun right. and make it a great experience for all of our girls. That's one of the things I've noticed about the Maya. It, it, it's kind of an underlying tone is not a lot of scholarships, in fact none. We study hard, we love to play hard and have fun. Yeah, the Mayak is probably one of the best conferences for Division Three, especially for softball. We always right. have really good representation out of our conference and you won't see better uh, games as far as the Division Three programs go. And only six seniors lost uh, at the end of the season, so you're looking for another good run next year. Yeah, we're really looking forward to another good year next year. We got uh, 14 new freshmen coming in next year, so uh, with our JV program, that's been a great experience for us. Go give them heck. Okay, thank you. Rod Radcliffe in the house, the coach, Bethel softball in our Mayak Minute. And you can keep up on the Wolves and the NBA with my weekly blog. It's called Simon Says at Timberwolves.com, part of a great NBA website full of inside information, strong Wolves viewpoints, all at your fingertips. It's interactive, so drop me a note. It's Rod at GameOnTVMN.com, and look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday right here at Timberwolves.com. Busy day, busy show. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget, check us out for all the updates, GameOnTVMN.com. And, yes, we answer our tweets at GameOnTVMN. I'm Rod Simons. Make it a great week and keep your game on.